All right, so Castigliano's theorem is probably the most strange concept that you'll have in this class. However, it's not that hard to actually perform. It's just hard to understand why you're doing it or what it actually means. So it's used to find deflections at certain points, specifically the point directly under a concentrated load. And uh, we're going to have the same situation that we just did for strain energy so that we could take advantage of that fact and just focus on purely the method of Kisti-Glano's theory. Now there's two different versions of this theorem or the, the equations. You generally have that the deflection under a particular concentrated load is equal to the total strain energy of that beam differentiated with respect to that load. It sounds kind of complicated, but you don't have to worry about it. It's just you're taking the differentiation with regards to P, if my force is P. The second kind of equation is the modified equation. I have a little derivation of it right here. But sometimes this is an easier method if I have a whole bunch of terms that I need to multiply out. And it can make the difference between having a really difficult foiling process and a really easy foiling process when I'm multiplying out all of my terms. It can be a shortcut. However, for this really simple example, it's actually going to be easier to do the general equation. So again, we have our simply supported beam, concentrated load P, at a distance A from the left and B from the right. And we want to know the deflection directly under that load. Obviously, this is exa exaggerated. So we're really looking for EI times delta B is what I'll call it. All right, so we can skip all the statics and the strain energy. From the last problem, we got that the strain energy of this beam was P squared, A squared, B squared, divided by 6EIL. So I say delta B equals the partial derivative with respect to P of exactly what I just wrote down. So think of P as our new constant. Anything that is not P becomes a constant. So everything here is now a constant. Now think of it in terms of if this was x, the derivative of x squared with respect to x is 2x. It's the same thing with our P. So 2P times a squared b squared over 6EIL. And this 2, 6 reduces to, and we're done. It was really that simple. That's one, two, three, four lines. Now let's try it again with the modified Castiglano's theorem, uh, just so that we can get the process down. So the modified theorem, you don't start with the entire strain energy. You have to go back to our moment equations. So I'm copying from the last example, m1 of x equals P, B, X over L. And that was applied from 0 to A. M2 of X equals P, A, X over L, which is applied from 0 to B. All right, now it's very similar to setting up a strain energy problem. And we just have a slightly different integral. It's going to be the integral of M1 of X, E, I dm1 dp. This is from 0 to a. m2 of x ei dm2 x dp. Okay, I like to calculate first what our dm1 dp is. p bx over l. p is our only variable and it's just going to go away, and we'll be left with the constants. So it's bx over l. Same thing with m2 of x. It's going to be ax over l. All right, now it's just a matter of plug and chug with these integrals.
and this happens to come out exactly just like the regular Castigliano's theorem. What is the chances of that? Well, it always happens, so it's 100%.